for this evening. Many of you may remember him by his comments at our last meeting. So please welcome Herr Adolf, Adolf Hitler. When I was a boy, I heard the story louder. I heard the story of the Holy Grail and how it could only be found by one who was pure of heart. Indeed, we have a history of purity in this country, but we have fallen on hard times. Our military is in tatters, our economy collapsing, but it's not poverty or weakness that's our problem. It's indifference. Is anyone listening? That's the problem nowadays, isn't it? No one cares. No wonder we face extinction. Pride. Pride is a weapon. A sword to be used against our enemies. But don't be deceived. They are strong. Stronger than we are. And it's not the French or the English I'm talking about. Our enemies live among us. Socialists. Communists. The foreign invaders who come to our country to destroy us and take over our lives. <laughs> In the six months since the fall of the communist government, the new German democracy has given birth to dozens of political factions, but none is growing more rapidly than the German Workers' Party, newly dubbed the Party of the National Socialists, whose fiery speaker, Adolf Hitler, preaches against the influence of foreign invaders. Who alone are responsible for the moral decadence that now riddles our society? The Jews! The Jews! Yes! Who call themselves German, but who are now, and who have always been, unwelcome, unwanted, and they are everywhere! <laughs> Invading our government, stripping us of our savings, raping our families and our heritage. I tell you, friends, this is war. A war that is soon to turn, where the invaders will become the victims.